Hello, welcome back from season two of the FPHL here in Super Mega Baseball 4. As we are about to get the new season started. And leading off is going to be the Neon going against the Fantastic to begin their season. The two teams have met twice in the previous season. Neon won both games, so Fantastic going to try to turn that around. But the Neon beefed up their roster just a little bit after getting swept in the finals last season. So let's take a look at their roster real quick. See the new players. Uh, as we can see, we got Ian Phillips. He's returning back at catchers. Spencer Roach is returning backup catcher. Barajas is going to be back at first again. Avenue Wim, one of our new pickups. She's playing second, replace Ribeye. Summer Arnold still back on the bench and playing third and whatever other position she could play on the infield. Offside returns again, play third and infield. Backup player. Hogwash is going, returning back at short. Riki Ricci, well, actually Stogwash is going to be playing third. Since Riki Ricci lost his third place, well, third base um, training last season, so he can't play there really anymore. So he's going to be taking over at short. Shipwreck returns in left. Sloan, team captain, returns back at center. Overly, back on the bench, playing backup outfielder. Kalani Bird, new pickup. She's playing right field, replaces Harry Reid, who I can't remember who signed him now. On that note, um, where was he? Avenue. She's playing second, replacing Ribeye. Ribeye asked for a crap ton of money once we left and went to free agency, and nobody signed him. He's still on the free agent list, so I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, there's Clipper. Okay, Mew Lushley. She's a new right fielder out slash outfielder, so she's going to be a backup out there. Owen Lozano, new starter, so we're going to see how he does. And who was he with last season? He's with the Energetics last year. Went two and five. Not really great with the 556 ERA, so hopefully he can do better. Mew, who did she play with last year? She was with the Boulders. Hit 303, four homers. And how many RBI is 20? So she wasn't too bad. Kaylani, she played with the Machos last season. Bad 244, seven homers and 30 RBIs, so she wasn't the greatest there. Uh, Avenue. We played against her, I remember, because she was with the... Um, was she with the Fantastic? No, she was with the Champs. Yeah, Champs and Philosophers. I know we played against her last year. Five homers, 12 RBIs, 237 average. She, she didn't have too great a year flip-flopping between two teams. So, see if she could turn that around here in her, near the end of her career. And let's see. Lozano, we went. Love Drummond returns back as our team's ace this season. Ned Wesman, he's got a new rookie that we signed. So we'll see what he can do. We're going to try to make him a franchise player if possible, since he's so young. It's just his accuracy has got me kind of worried, but I'm hoping some training will get that up. So when we can get training in on him, we need to try to take advantage of that to get that boosted up. Gray Smythe returns as another starter. Doug Lawson back in the pen. Nayeli, she's back in the pen as well. So where's Pork Matthews? Alejandro Dantas is a new reliever. She, I mean, he replaced uh, Winner Tang. And who did he play with last year? He played with the Champion Guardians. He won a title and came to us. He's 1 and 1, 605 ERA, so it was pretty bad for him. I don't have his playoff stats, though. And Hannah returns to their closer, who pretty much just dominated everybody in that position. All right, so look at the standings real quick. As you can see, the uh, Bleacher Bump Conference is still one team over from what the other side has. What I wanted to do in the offseason was add at least six more teams, well, at least one more to make it even on both sides, but I wanted to add five more teams, so there'd be six teams in every division. But the game will not let you change anything in franchise mode once you've already started it, so... The only way I can change anything now is to do a season mode, but you can't do off-season stuff that way. But anyway, we got some couple games to simulate, so let's get to it. Bards and Riddle's going to lead off the season. And Bards take off the early lead, and they take off running. And they hold off the Riddle's 7-5 win. Machos against the defending champion Guardians. Machos score early, but the Guardians hang on to win this one 9-5. Spider Bears and Freedom. Spider Bears were one of the worst teams last year, and looks like they're going to possibly have the same problem this year and lose their first game. It's still early, so who knows what's going to happen. But here we go. Neon versus the Fantastics. 
Love Drummond's going to be leading off on the mound for the Neon. And Cody Rutten's going to hit the mound for the Fantastics. So let's get to it and get the roster started. Okay, Brahas is first. Sloan out there. It's, he's betting second. It's short. Not short, center. Learn to read. Kalani's going to be playing right. Avenue is going to be our cleanup hitter. Phillips is catcher at batting fifth. Shipwreck and drop down to sixth. She's still playing left. Richie and Hogwash are still playing. There's Ambition. Hogwash dropped down the order. Basically, it doesn't really matter which one of these two. I think I put him down here because Richie has a better contact. But that'll do it. Let's get to the game. And it's a night game to start the season. And just like last season, the A goes back down to 50 as the new season starts. So each win is going to go up by one. Each loss is going to drop by one. <clears throat> as I said, this is the third meeting between these two teams. The and Neon are classified as, as extreme power hitters this season. Bullpen beast for the Fantastics. Yeah, the power really got beefed up for the Neon this season. So Baraha, Sloan, and Bird going to lead off. And here's Board and Baraha stepping in for the first at bat of the year. See if we can get this season started off on a good note. He swings at the first pitch and misses it. Hits this one deep to right. And just like that, home run, Baraha hits the first hit of the season it's a home run and that is just how we want to lead this season off a home run to start the season so it looks like he's been beefing up a little bit in the offseason getting ready for this one because his power numbers were kind of down last season and there's Sloan team captain see what he can do to follow up he grounds over to third that's going to be an easy out there's Kehlani Bird stepping in for the first time on the team See how she does. Hard grounder to second. Huerta picks it up, throws to McFurlow for out number two. And here's Avenue Win. Our new second baseman. And first pitch she sees. Taking low and outside for a ball. Skies this one deep to left, but it's gonna go foul. Outside, ball two. Out in front of that one, fouls it to the left. Hard shot up the middle. That's going to reach the wall as Avenue rounds the first on her way to second. And she's going to get in there with a stand up double. So, runner at second, two outs. And here's Ian Phillips. <clears throat> See what he can do here. He'll take a strike on the first pitch. Grounds it over to third. Toss over to first. That'll end the inning. But the Neon hop on the board first with a leadoff home run from Barajas to get the season started. They now lead 1-0 going in the bottom of the first. And here's Orville Huerta. Their second baseman. First pitch from Drummond. Swing and a miss. The fastball up high. And he'll foul the second pitch off. This will reach the seats. So it's quickly 0-2. Just watches the fastball go in. Strike three. So one away. And there's Kyle McFurlow, their first baseman. Been at 667 in his career so far against Drummond. As he swings and misses this pitch. And he pops this one up just in front of the catcher. In foul territory. Phillips runs out. And he'll glove it for out number two. And that'll bring up Rhett Lansley. He's playing short for them. And first pitch he sees is taken for a strike on the outside lower corner. Pops this one up in foul territory behind the plate. 
Phillips gives chase, and he'll glove it for out number three. So, one, two, three inning. Neon lead, one nothing as we go to the top of the second. Kaylee Shipwreck leading off. So, Shipwreck had a pretty off year last year. Let's see if she can pick it up this time around. And she takes a ball and swings and misses. Hammers this one deep to center, and sh this one's gone. So the Neon are bringing their boomer bats this time around. They got something to prove after getting swept in the finals. So if that's not going to happen again this year. We're definitely going to make it to the finals. We got dishumiliated, but not this time around. So Neon are up 2 nothing off the two home runs. Is this one gets slammed up the middle for a hard single. And here's Hogwash. And first pitch he sees is taken low for a ball. This one's fouled back. Strike one. Taken outside for ball two. Just foul to the right. 2-2 two -two pitch. Hard shot to second. Caught for the out. And they dive back in. Safe at first. And that'll bring Love Drummond to the mound. Plate. She finally hit her first career home run in the playoffs last season. But she'd like to do it in the regular season this time. She takes a strike. First pitch. Hard shot to the right. This will reach the right field. Richie will hold up at second. So runner at first and second with one out. And there's Barajas. He homered his first time. Second pitch he saw. He fouls first pitch off. Takes this one low for a ball. Swing way late on that one. I don't know what he's doing. One and two. He's looking for something. Obviously didn't get it. Takes this one up and high. Ball two. Two and two count. Outside. Ball three. Full count. Fouls this one to the right. Out of play. And take it for a ball outside. That'll load the bases up. That'll bring the team captain up. Here's Sloan. He's 0 for 1. And first pitch he sees... Lines it up the middle for a base hit. That'll drive in one run. So an RBI single for Sloan. As the Neon tack on another run. They now lead 3-0. Here's Kaylani Bird. She's 0 for 1. And she'll hammer one up the middle for another single. And that'll drive in yet another run. So the revolving door is open as the Neon just keeps stepping through it. It's now 4-0. There's Avenue and Win. She doubled her first time. Pops this one up on the right side. Foul territory. First baseman is there to glove it. And that'll be out number two. So two down. Bases loaded. Here's Phillips. He's 0 for 1. And he'll take a ball on the outside. Hard shot up the middle. That'll reach the center field. That'll drive in another run. As the bases still remain loaded. And here's Shipwreck who homered her first time up. She's feeling it. As it's a 5 nothing game right now. Hits this one to right field. But this is going to be caught in the inning. So they now leave the bases loaded. But they put four more on the board. They now lead 5 nothing going in the bottom of the second. Here's Harry Singh. Looking for his first hit against Drummond in his career. He's 0 for 2. As he takes a strike up and in. This is grounded to first. Barajas will pick it up and he'll run to the bag and win that race. Out number 1. Here's Mercy Thritzy. Yeah, I pronounced it right. Thritzy. 
And she swings and misses the first pitch. Fastball up and high. Takes the changeup up and high. Swings and misses at the, at the curve down low. Strike three, two away. Near Dante Klopp, their third baseman. He's at way out in front of the changeup. Fouls this one away. 0 and 2. Swings and misses. Slider outside the zone. Outside. A strike three. That'll end their inning. Top of the third coming up. Now are up five nothing. Out hitting, the Fantastics eight to nothing at the moment. Here's Ricky Ricci. He singled his first time up. And he'll single again. This one goes into center field. So leadoff single for the Neon here at the top of the third. As Hogwash steps back in, he's 0 for 1. Tossed over to first. Ricci dives back in safely. Fouled away as he was out in front. Outside for ball one. Foul of the way. It's one and two. Foul that away. That could have been a ball. Way up high. Ball two. Little looper to right, but this will be caught for the out. So Ricci will retreat back to first as the throw goes into second. That will bring the pitcher up. She's one for one. She singled her last time. Hard shot to first, caught for the out, and tagged out for number three. Nothing Ricci can do on that play. So that'll end the inning. No runs scored. Bottom of the third coming up. Neon are up five nothing. And here's Stefan Chops. Stefan, okay. Stefan Chops. I had to listen real quick. And you'll take a change up in there for a strike. Curveball hit to left field foul territory. Shipwreck and Hogwash give chase, but Shipwreck will get there first for the out. And here's Leona Jones, their right fielder. She'll take a fastball in the outside corner. Strike one. Hard shot to right, but right at Bird. She'll glove it for out number two. And here's Cody Rotten. This is first at bat. And he gets a hit. So leave it to the pitcher to get the first hit of the game for them. So he gets a two-out single. And they go back to the top of their order. Here's Orville Huerta. 0 for 1. He looks at a fastball in there for a strike. Sliders in there. Strike two. Watches the curve go low. Swing and miss the fastball. Strike three. That'll end the inning. They leave a runner on base after they get up their first hit. And they still trail by five as they go to the top of the fourth. As Baraja steps back in, he walked his last time. After leading off the game with that home run in the first. And he looks at a ball on the first pitch here. And it takes a strike on the inside corner. That could have gone either way. Late on that one. Strike two. Hard shot to second. Huerta's got it. Throws the first in time. Out number one. So Barraza is retired for the first time in this game. As Sloan steps back in. He's one for two. He's driven in one of their five runs. That's outside. Swung at it anyway. That's outside too. It's almost the same place. Fouls this one off. Still low and two. Out in front of that one. Strike three. Fooled him with the changeup. Here's Kalani Bird. She's one for two. Also driven in one of their runs. Grounds to short. Lansley has it over to first in time. Out number three. That'll end the inning. So no run score for the Neon to go to the bottom of the fourth, but they still lead by five. There's Kyle McFurlow. He's 0 for 1. Check swing, but it's in there for a strike. 
Hits this one deep to right. This has got a chance to go. Bird climbs the wall and just misses it. This clears the wall for a home run. That was close. She almost got a hold of it. 346 feet out to right. And the Fantastics are on the board. So here's Rhett Lansley. He's 0 for 1. Slider up high misses. Change up in there. Strike one. Slider grounded up the middle just past Drummond. She couldn't get a glove on it. So no outs. That'll put a runner at first. And here's Harry Singh who's 0 for 1. Looks at a strike up high. Creams this one to right and this one's gone. Off the foul pole. That one got out in a hurry. And the Fantastics are right back in this game. 5-3 to three now. 377 feet, but I could have gone a lot further. So Drummond's in a bit of a jam now. She's already given up two home runs this inning. She was cruising right along. There's Thritzy. This one's fouled away on the first pitch. Fouls the second pitch off. Check swing, but just buckled the knees at that changeup as it went in. Strike three. Here's Dante Klopp. He's 0 for 1. So one out. Well, about to be two outs as Bird gloves this one. It's two outs, but the Neon only have a two run advantage now. Here's Stefan Chops. Fouls first pitch off. Down low, ball one. Foul to the right side, so it's one and two. Chase the fastball outside the zone, strike three. That ends the inning, but the Fantastics put three on the board off those two run home run and a single home run. Top of the fifth coming up, it's five to three in favor of the Neon. And here's Avenue, she's one for two. And this one's long gone. She got all of this one. Take out the tape measure on that one. That's out of the stadium. Yes, out of the stadium completely. Long home run. 442 feet. Her first of the year. Expect to see a lot of that from her this year. That's what we signed her for. Here's Phillips. He's one for two. We singled. Drove in one run. Takes the first pitch outside for a ball. Fouls this one back. One and one. Fouled away again. One and two. Inside. Had to get out of the way of that one. Down low. Ball three. Full count. Down low again. And Michi walks. So here's Shipwreck. She's one for two. She's hit one of the home runs. Oh, that was Phillips that walked. That wasn't Ricci. Anyway, that one's in for a strike. This one's taken outside for a ball. Outside again. Ball two. Down low. Ball three. Does she have the green light? She probably could have swung at that, but she takes it for a strike. So it's a full count. Grounded up the middle and through for a single. Phillips has to stop a second because he's too slow to advance on that. That puts runner at first and second. Nobody out. Here's Ricci. He's two for two. So he's in his career. He's five for five now against Rotten. And he's six for six against Rotten. And this one's out of here. Three run home run for Ricci. He loves when Rotten's on the mound. 431 feet. Three run shot. Puts the Neon up th 9 to 3. And the, and the Boom Boom Sticks are out in force tonight. And Rotten's done. They're yanking him. Then Phil Tomeo is going to come in and pitch. And here's Hogwash. Takes the first pitch for a strike. Up high for a ball. 
ball two. Inside, ball three. Hard shot to left. This one's got a chance to go. And it's out of here. Back-to-back -back shots for the Neon. This Hogwash launches one. 386 feet. Smiles all around. It's now 10 to 3 in favor of the Neon. Here's Love Drummond. She's betting one for two. She has the power to knock one out, too. Yeah, she takes the first pitch for a ball outside. Strike down the middle. Down low, ball two. Popped up on the infield. Catcher rest around just a few feet as he throws the mask away. Actually, he didn't. He kept it on. Look over for the out. And back to the top of the order is Barajas. There's one for two. And his first pitch is outside for a ball. Hard shot to second. Huerta's got it. Toss the first in time. Out number two. That'll bring Sloan back to the plate. He's one for three. And his first pitch is taken for a ball. Curve in there for a strike. That one's outside for a ball. Ball down low. Three and one. Fouled away. Full count. Swings and misses late on that one. Strike three. I think that's two strikeouts now for Sloan. That ends the inning. Neon put five on the board with a couple homers. They now lead 10 to three. Here's Leona Jones. She's 0 for 1. Swings and misses the first pitch. Strike one. Couldn't get a hold of that fastball. Strike two. Fouls this one back. Change up, up, and in. Couldn't reach that either. Strike three. So one away. Here's Linfield Tomeo. There's a new pitcher that just came in. He takes a strike low. Change up on the outside corner. Strike two. Slider misses high. Curve misses low. Two and two. Fastball, check swing. Couldn't get it. Strike three. Two down. Here's Orville Huerta. 0 for 2. Hits this one to the right side. But this is going to land foul. Swings and misses the high heat. Couldn't get it. Swings at the changeup. It's even higher out of the zone. Strike 3. That ends the inning. So bottom of the fifth is over. As the Fantastics can't get a hit. Top of the sixth coming up. They trail by 7. And Neon continue to put pressure on. Here's Kehlani Bird. He's one for three. Looking for her first homer of the year. We signed her for her power as well. Takes this one for a strike. Down the dirt. It's this one to left, but this isn't going to go out. Left fielder's there. They'll glove it. That's out number one. Here's Avenue. Cream that last pitch he saw for a home run out of the stadium. Hard shot to short. This will be gloved. Thrown to first in time. So that's two outs. Here's Ian Phillips. He's one for two. Walked his last time. Takes the first pitch for a strike. Out in front of that one. Strike two. Grounds it to third. Klopp has it over to first. Out number three. That is the inning. No runs, no hits. Bottom of the six coming up. Neon is still up in front. Ten to three. As Kyle McFurlow steps back in. He homered his last time up. That's just out of reach of Bird in right field. Takes the first pitch for a strike. Fouls this one back. Quickly 0-2. Foul all the way again. Almost chased a high fastball outside. Slider down low. Out in front of the changeup. Strike three. So one away. 
Here's Lansley. One for two. Hits the first pitch out to right. Bird's there. Show glove for out number two. And here's Harry Singh. He homered as well as last time up. Swing is a miss of the first pitch. Watches the slider go low. Strike two. Fastball up and in. Held off. Change up. Foul all the way. Curve down the dirt. Check swing. He almost went for it. High fastball held up. Full count. Popped up on the infield. And wins there to glove this one. Calls for it. Gloves it out number three. So no runs, no hits for the Fantastics. Top of the seventh coming up. It's 10 to 3 in favor of the Neon. As Shipwreck steps up. She's 2 for 3. And first pitch she sees taken low for a ball. Strike on the outside corner. Just top this one. Grounds it just out in front of the catcher. Who runs out, gloves it, throws the first in time. So one away, and here's Ricci. Three for three. Still, she, he's gone with six for six against the previous pitcher. As he fouls this one back. Takes a strike low. So it's two, well, yeah, two strikes. Outside, ball one. Ball two low. Looped up the center. This will drop for a hit. So he's on base and again with another hit. That'll put a runner at first with one out. There's Hogwash. He's one for three with that home run. Takes a ball. Hogwash takes off. I don't think he's going to get there. No, he's out easily on that one. And this one's popped up on the infield. And pitcher's going to glove this one for out number three. So ill advised run from Hogwash. Not that they really needed to apply any more pressure on the Fantastics as they're down by seven. As the bottom of the seventh comes up, here's Mercy. 0 for 2. Swings, fouls it away. Looking for that one. She got it, but she hits it right at Bird in right field for out number one. Here's Klopp. 0 for 2. First pitch, and there for a strike. Grounded to second. Avenue's got it. Gloves it. Throws to first. Out number two. That'll bring Stefan Chops back to the plate, who's 0 for 2. Fastball misses high. Curve is in there for a strike. Slider just missed off the corner. Change up in there. Strike two. Two and two. Grounds this one foul to the left. Fouls this one to the right. Popped up on the infield. Hogwash is calling everybody off. And he'll glove it for out number three to end the inning. So no runs and no hits. Fantastic. They got some work to do. They're down by seven. As we go to the top of the eighth. Here's Drummond. They're probably going to take her out. No, actually, she's got a good bat. We'll leave her in. She's, but her pitching is done for the day. She takes the first pitch for a strike. Ball one on the outside. Ball two. Nope. Strike two. Fouls this one back. In the dirt. I don't know why she chased it, but she fouled it off. Pops this one up. Who's going to get it? Pitcher's calling everybody off. And looks like he'll okay, glove it. He will. Out number one. So back to the top of the order. Here's Barajas. There's one for three. This is right down the middle. So we had to swing at that one. And this is going to hit off the wall in right center. And Barajas is going to make it in a second with a stand-up double. So runner at second. One out. Here's Sloan. There's one for four. But he struck out twice. Takes first pitch inside. Ball one. Ball two in the dirt. 
up high, ball three. Definitely got the green light, but he's not going to swing at that. Four pitch walk for Sloan as he walks his way over to first. That'll put runners at first and second with no, with nobody out or one out. Doesn't matter. DeMaio's getting yanked. Cern Knapp's coming in to pitch. He's their closer. I'm sure he's not happy being brought in in a non-closing situation. First pitch is in there for a strike. Tap to the plate. Foul. Hit the center. It should be an out. Yep, glove for the out. Everybody goes back to base. So two outs. Still got runners to first and second. And there's Avenue. Two for four. First pitch in there for a ball. Fouls this one back. Inside, ball two. Oh, she got all of this one. That's gone. Center field deep. Off the back fence. Long home run for Avenue, her second of the game. 454 feet. Now driven in four runs. It's now 13 to 3 lead. So she's doing exactly what we signed her for. And here's Phillips. He's one for three. Hard shot up the middle in the center. And Phillips reaches base again. So two outs runner at first. That brings Shipwreck to the plate again. She's two for four. Want a home run of her own. Way out in front of that. What was she doing? Fouls this one back. Up the middle. That'll drop for a single. So runner first and second. And they're still mounting pressure. That'll bring Richie to play. He's four for four on the day. Takes a strike on the inside. That one gets away. Runners advance. No, he's way too slow. Thrown out at third, trying to advance on that pass ball. Or wild pitch. I don't know which one it was. But the Neon put three on the board. They now lead 13-3 to three as we go to the bottom of the eighth. Here's Leona Jones. She's over for 2 as Drummond's day is done. And it's going to bring in Odom. Let Odom come in. So the first appearance for Nayeli Odom this season. And first pitch he throws is high in the right field. Brahas gives chase. He gloves it. Should have let the right fielder have it. That'll bring their pitcher to the plate. His first at bat of the season. They're going to yank him out. Lennox Dixon's going to come in to pinch it. And his contact is not even close to anything. He takes a strike, so I don't know. He got, I don't know what trait he's got that's doing that. It's got to be a trait that's dropped his contact that low. This one's fouled off to the right. Swing and miss, strike three. The inside fastball, two down. Here's Orville, and that's all you need to say about how their day's been. First pitch fouled away. Fastball in there. Grounds to the right side. Hogwash lays out, gloves it, toss the first in time for out number three. Nice play at third. And Dervish McKee is going to come in to pitch the ninth. As the Neon are up by ten. Here's Ricci, four for four. Takes a strike on the inside. Oh, I hit the dirt. That was a wicked curve. 0-2. Oh Outside for ball. Down in the dirt. That's off the plate. Grounds to short. This is going to end his perfect evening. And he's thrown out for out number one. Here's Hogwash. He's one for four. Swings and misses. Taking up high for a ball. 
This guy is just left field. So he runs to second, but it's going to be caught for out number two. And that'll bring the pitcher to the plate. Here's Odom. Did she ever get a bet at all last season? Doesn't matter. She gets a hit on the first one this season. So she's batting 1,000. So back to the top of the order. Barajo steps back in for another shot. His contact's dropped considerably. Must be that skill that's flashing down there. As he skies this one on the left. This should end the inning here. As everybody continues to run. Lastly, gloves it for out number three to end the inning. So the bottom of the ninth coming up. Fantastic got some work to do. They're down by ten. They got three outs to do it. And here's McFurlow. He's got one of their home runs. Takes a strike on the inside corner. Check swing on the curve down low, but it's a strike. And swing on the miss the fastball. Strike three. One away. And here's Lansley. He's one for three. Takes a slider up and in. Strike one. It's this one deep to center. This is going to go all the way to the wall. Sloan gives chase. Gloves it. Gets it into second. Not in time. This runner slides in safely. So one out runner at second. Here's Singh, who also homered earlier. Takes the fastball up and in for a strike. Slider fouled the way to the left side. Fastball outside the zone. Chased it. Strike three. Now they're down to their last out. Here's Mercy. 0 for 3 on the day. In there for a strike down low. Fastball called strike. Last strike. Fouled away. Fastball just held up on that one. Just held up on the inside slider as well. Grounds this one to second. Avenue's got it. Toss the first. In time. Browse gloves it. That's the out. And that ends the game. Neon win this one easily. 13 to 3. 19 hits the 5. As the boom boom sticks were all out in force today. Great way to start their season. And top player. We're going to give this to Avenue. 3 for 5. Scored twice. Hit two homers, drove in four. We easily could have given it to Ricci as well. Also went four for five. Homer of his own, drove in three. Those are the two big hitters. On the fantastic side, we'll go ahead and give their top hitter to Harry. One for four. Scored once, hit that two-run shot. Drummond picks up the first run of the season. Went seven innings, gave up four hits, three runs, struck out ten. Gave up the two homers, though. That's not a good sign. So she's 1-0 in the season. Rotten picks up the loss, went four innings, gave it 12 hits, nine runs, walked two, struck out one, gave it four home runs. Six were hit on the day from the Avenue. That's his first loss. Avenue with the number one star, three for five with two homers, double, four RBIs and two runs, nice day. Ricky Ricci number two, four for five with a homer, three RBIs and two runs scored, and Barajas number three, with two for five, a home run, double, RBI, and three runs scored, and that home run was the, led off the season. Second pitch he saw. So easy game for the Neon so far. Looks like the Frisian signings are working out perfectly. Still very early in the season, though. we got a lot of games to simulate, so let's get to it. Grays and the War Wagons. Grays are going to score early and often in this one as they lead 9-3. to three. They win 9-5. Energetics and the Champs. Champs were one of the worst teams last year, and but they lose the first game this one, seven to six. Let's see, the Advocates and the Lucky Breaks. Lucky Breaks continue to win, six to four. They're one of the better teams last year. Philosophers are going to shut up the Tundras. No, nope, Tundras come back and score a few, but not enough. They lose ten to two. Water Bullets and Agents. Agents win this one, four to two. Serpents and Bolters. Serpents score easily. Hang on to win four to three. Nice little comeback at the end. Craniums and Brazzles. Craniums win that close one, 3-2. Outlaws and Favorites. Outlaws and win another 3-2. Here's Gobblers and Bandits. Bandits went to the playoffs last year with a nice surprising turnaround for their season. They win this one. Here's Bottlenoses and Sewer Sneaks. Bottlenoses win this 5-3. to 
spots in the underworld. The underworld just fell apart completely last year. They want to win this one 10 to 7. And speaking of the spots, a new stadium was built in the offseason, so they migrated over to that one. I don't know if we'll ever see them in that stadium. Let me look at the schedule. Do we ever play the spots? Uh, we play them at home. That's the only time we ever play them. Okay, so we won't see that stadium this season. Anyway, let's see the summary real quick. Not that. News. That's what I wanted. Uh, let's see, I got season tickets for Spencer Roach. Plus three speed, negative power, more speed. It'd be nice to have that. But, uh, we got two million. No, we got 600 grand. No, we got two million. Yeah, look at the right signal. We got two million to spend, but we don't really want to spend it on him. He's getting close to age 40. Avenue, getting tired of all this extra training. So, uh... Okay, she was an A, she's still an A. I don't know what dropped. Colin the Tent lowered their asking salary. That's one of the pieces we were following in the off season that we're thinking of signing. If he keeps dropping his price, we could sign him as a backup player. We don't know. Speaking of which, how many of all our players are left? Free agents. Let's see. We know um, Ribeye's out here. I think he's the only one of our players that we let go that's still left. Now I'll take that back. Sound Depper might still be in here too. Yeah, Sound Depper's still available. He wants five million. He wasn't that bad for us last year. If you look at his stats, bang 343, which is pretty good. Four homers and 20 RBIs. Playing 33 of the 46 games, so. I also call him a regular player. Of course, there's due to injuries and stuff. Let's see, so far I don't see anybody else. There's Ribeye there. He wants 3.9 million. He wanted a crap ton earlier on off season, but he sucked for us last year, and people, all the other teams took notice. Yeah, Betty 197 struck out 31 times, which led the whole league in that category. Took that back. So it led our team. Didn't lead the league. Still, it's pretty bad. But yeah, those are the only two players we have released that are still left, it looks like. Everybody else has been signed. Can't remember what teams they all went to. But I believe Reed is in our division, so we'll be playing against him. Anyway, let's. Look at the thing. Let's see. Uh, we're going against the elephants. Um, Lozano. He's not the rookie, right? I gotta remember who the rookie is and who's not. Um, sort this by pitchers. Is Lozano? No, he's not the rookie. Wasman's is the rookie. Okay, so we got Lozano coming up next. First, first time on the mound for us. Going against the Elephants, we're going to send Alonzo Herman to the mound. Not much I can really say at this moment, but Neon got a nice start. All the power is out in force. Let's see if that will continue on for the rest of the season. That's one thing I was kind of lacking last year. But we'll see. Game 2, coming at you soon. See you then.